This video is sponsored by sellcashier.com. They compare iPhone prices on the internet and give you their instant quote and the most cash for your iPhone. Hey guys, this is Evo Teclarium. I am excited to be here with you today in this unique video. I am going to show you some of the obvious hardware differences between the real iPhone 7 Plus and its fake counterpart that you see in my hands right now, and also share some of the thoughts on possible hardware failures that could occur with this poorly built fake iPhone 7 Plus. So what is the difference should you decide to throw away 70 bucks? Well, first off, I will begin by saying that this phone turned into a brick after just a few days of using it. So what is my advice to you then? Well, don't buy this junk. Get an older iPhone 6 Plus and you will get a far better performance and longevity. So as I pull the panels apart, the first thing that I notice are a couple of unprotected flex cables and a layout that is completely different from a real iPhone 7 Plus. Up above we can also see two camera modules, which based on my fake iPhone 7 Plus camera comparison video, only one of them seems to be a low resolution working camera. So the layout is somewhat like the 4 or the 4S where you see the battery mounted onto the same side of the phone. The right photo is simply a back cover with a couple of components mounted onto it. And then there is the battery in the middle photo, roughly of a similar size but still different. This battery overheats if you run benchmarks. And what do I mean by overheating? It is hot. And when I say it gets hot, I really mean it. And this could possibly lead to permanent screen damage as the battery is mounted directly underneath the screen. Is it also a fire hazard? Possibly so on top of the very questionable quality tape over it along with a fake wall charger that the phone comes with. Is there a real process of quality control at the factory? Possibly yes or possibly a no. For all we know there is a quality control sticker but again the phone lasted only a few days as I mentioned earlier. Next let's look at some flex cables and also note this regular cable right in the middle. You can hardly see any in a real iPhone as most of them are protected by metal covers. And on the other hand the fake has these visible all over. The antenna cable is also unprotected which if this phone worked then there would be no reason for anyone to open it risking breaking those cables. Not the case. And now my favorite, the Taptic engine. It is absent entirely in the fake phone. The button has a typical click and no haptic feedback whatsoever. The system board is wider and has more components exposed. Overall the phone itself is much more bendable and the materials are of course cheaper all around. Screen quality was not as great when the phone worked as you can see in my fake iPhone 7 Plus camera comparison test. And this phone is not waterproof unlike the real Apple iPhone 7 Plus. There is no glue between the screen and the frame, and one of the Penelope screws would not stay in place as it was stripped from the beginning when the phone came out of the box. This phone is for nothing other than impressing others and pretending that you have an expensive gadget. But if you buy it, you will be just faking yourself. Don't waste your money and find a good used iPhone 6 Plus for example. I guarantee you that it will bring so much more joy than a phone that turned into a brick just a few days into using it. Thank you so much for watching as always and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in my next video very soon.